Nick Rudder from McKees37.com. Back in the shop is the 2010 Infiniti G37. I've already made the paint look great by restoring it, and as promised in the last video, it's time to give the headlights some much needed attention. Now, modern vehicles, they have these polycarbonate headlight lenses. Over time, they yellow, they discolor, they fade, they become oxidized, and not only does it look terrible, but it's actually a safety hazard because it hinders the output of the light so you can't see the road as clearly. Well, McKees 37, we manufacture a very simple two-step system that anyone can use to restore these headlight lenses. No sanding is required, and all you need is a standard household drill, corded or cordless. Plus, we also sell a kit that has the backing plate for your drill and everything you need to use. For this video, I'm going to showcase a three inch cordless polisher because well I love my battery powered dual action polishers. The first step is really simple. I'll show you how to use the all-in-one headlight restoring polish which is quick and easy. It's optimized for plastic headlight lenses and then once I restore the clarity I will follow with the graphene headlight coating. That'll put a blanket of clear coat protection over these headlights to prevent them from yellowing, fading and oxidizing over time. This process is really simple. So like I mentioned, you can use a standard household drill, but for this video, I'm showcasing the Rupes Hybrid HLR75. This is a cordless battery powered polisher. It's dual action, variable speed. These are fantastic tools and they're extremely powerful and they weigh virtually nothing. So you have a speed dial from one all the way to five. And for this detail, I really only need speeds two or three within that range to restore these headlights. So, my polish of choice is McKee's 37 All-in-One Headlight Restoring Polish. This product compounds and polishes in one step, and it restores the clarity without leaving a hazy finish. I love that this product is easy to use and that it smells fantastic. Apply it directly to your wool buffing pad, and then I like to spread it out a little bit before I turn the machine on. In a lot of vehicles, um, the hood will actually overlap the headlight. So one thing you can do is pop the hood. That way you can get over the edge of the headlight a little bit better. With this detail, this being a dual action polisher, I'm not going to bother taping off any of the surrounding paint. This is a big picture detail. Um, I've already restored the paint. It looks great. So if the wool pad gets on here, it's not going to cause any harm. And that's one of the other benefits about this headlight restoring polish is the abrasive powder is so fine it feels like skin lotion. It's not going to scour or haze or even damage the surrounding panels. So I got to spread it out and I'm going to apply firm downward pressure as I restore these headlights. All right, so when you initially start using the tool, whether it's a polisher or if it's a drill, it might pull you around a little bit at first. And the reason why is because the headlights, since they're oxidized, they're very dry. That's perfectly normal. And depending on how oxidized the headlights are, you might need to perform this process more than once. So wipe off the polish and wow, look at that clarity. Holy smokes. That is a big difference with minimal effort. Again, no sanding, very simple and easy to use. I think that I can get this a little bit better. So I'm going to apply it just one more time, especially down in some areas where I didn't give it as much attention. So again, if you have to do it a second time, it's really no big deal. It only takes a few seconds. And for some headlights, it might be worth it. So same exact process as before. Take the towel, wipe it off, and it looks much better. You can see the second application with more emphasis down here cleaned up that section as well. Next up is to use our coating prep spray to remove any polishing oils. Anytime you apply a ceramic or graphene coating, you have to perform this step. And basically this allows the coating to adhere to a perfectly clean, bare surface. It'll last a lot longer that way. And then last but not least, is the coating. So the graphene headlight coating was optimized to bond to polycarbonate surfaces. This plastic is a lot different 
than the paint. So the graphene headlight coating is optimized for this material. You can use any of our paint coatings on the headlights, it's not going to cause any harm, but the difference is that the paint coatings will not last as long on the headlights. Let's take a little bit of product. And as you can see, the coating further enhances the clarity of the headlight. Really simple and easy to apply. After the product has had time to flash, meaning the um, carrier agent evaporates and you see like a, a rainbow effect, simply take a microfiber towel and wipe off the excess. And these headlights will be protected against the elements for several years, saving this owner a lot of money, increasing the safety of the vehicle, as well as increasing the appearance too. So there you have it. Simple two-step, very fast, easy, effective headlight restoration. For more information, visit mckees37.com. If you like videos like this, give me a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, take care, and God bless. Wow, that looks good.